MLB The Show's coverage of Major League now, Baseball is on the air. Today we've got a good matchup ahead Miami. between the Atlanta Braves and the Miami Marlins. And that'll bring in the former top prospect, Ozzy Albies. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. The 1-1. One, one. Not the ideal location for a changeup up in the zone, but he got away with it. And it's fouled away. Here's another 1-2. Unable to find the zone with the slider. This is a fun guy to watch when he's up there, really battles, doesn't take any pitches off, he's a grinder, always seems to make it difficult on the opposing pitcher. On deck is Nick Markakis, and that misses ball four, so a good battle to begin the ball game today, but the leadoff man will reach first anyway. Here's Nick Markakis now, the right fielder. He had a couple of hits in yesterday's contest. Liner towards second. And that'll get down for a base hit. That is third. The first baseman, number five. Freddie. Stepping in now, Freddie Freeman. Clearly <laughs> off with his timing on that one, a swinging strike. He appears to be having some issues with pitch command to start the game. He's dealing with two guys on, and that last pitch looked like a big mistake in that location, right down the middle, but he got away with it. That's lifted the other way out to left. Dickerson is there and he makes the catch for the out. And he'll indeed move up 90 feet, putting runners at the corners now with one away. Stepping in for the Braves, Ronald Acuna. Great chance to drive in a run here in the early going. Grounded back up the middle. And that is going to be a base hit that chases home our first run as the Braves take a one to nothing lead. And they'll get the man at third here at least, but in the interim, a run has come in to score. The left fielder, number 20. Standing in now, Marcelo Zuna. Now a swing as he shoots this down the right field line. And this one bounds around against the wall. So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two out double. That is the Into the box now, Travis Darno. And this ball runs away for ball two, two and one. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. His pitch count is getting up there in the inning now. He needs to get this frame over with sooner than later, so forcing contact and getting the defense involved is and we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Stepping up to the plate, Jonathan Villar. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Now the one and one pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Acuna will slide over and put this one away, and that's out number one. Up next from Miami, Miguel Rojas. Lifetime against this pitcher. He hasn't had much success, just two for 11. And he missed with that one. It's ball four, a one-out walk here in the home first. Now to the plate, Corey Dickerson. Nine at-bats for him in the series so far, and he's collected a pair of hits. And the pitch on two and one. I know it's the first inning, but he better find his release point on that breaking stuff or he's in for a long day. A line shot to third base. And it got there so quickly, the runner didn't get very far from the bag. They settle with just the one out. So here's the cleanup hitter for Miami, Jesus Aguilar. In yesterday's ball game, he launched a couple over the wall. So we'll see if he's got some more thump in that bat here in this one. A ball and two strikes now. Here's the one and two delivery. Pops this one up. Camargo is under it. And that ends the inning.
Second inning set to go, and set to go is the third baseman, Johan Camargo. One two is an off speed pitch, no dice, it's two and two. Takes this the other way to right, and a base hit, so early trouble to lead off the inning. At the plate, Dansby Swanson. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's two and one. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. Now this will rattle up against the wall. Throw comes in quickly from left, so even on the hit and run, they'll hold things to first and second here. Josh Rader is going to come on in relief now, and he may be asked to eat several innings as this game is just still really getting underway. So now to the plate, Sean Newcomb. And they indeed want the pitcher to move his runners as he puts this one down. Over to VR. So up steps Ozzy Albies. And he's got runners at the corners here with only one gun. 1-1. Hit hard on the ground towards second. And that'll get by into center field for a base hit. They'll cash in here as the run is in to score from third. It's a 2-0 ball game. Now batting. Right fielder. Nick. In now. Nick Markakis. And Markakis lays off here. It's 2-1. Ball even at two and two. Newcomb at second. Albies is over at first with one away. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. The first Digging in for his second at bat. Freddie Freddy. Freeman flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something. Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. Last half of the second set to go, and up next will be the big catcher, Jorge Alfaro. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Count even at two and two to the Marlins catcher. Now a ball lined toward the alley in left center. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. And he will pull into second with a leadoff double. That is good. The right field. Harold Ramirez. Into the box, Harold Ramirez. Outside, two and one. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Down the first baseline. Freeman's got it, and he'll take this to the bag himself for the first out, but it's a productive one as the runner moves up to third. So a definite RBI spot here. Runner at third, one away. And that'll bring up the outfielder, Brian Anderson. Maybe too much break on the slider. Two and one. Oh, and this is hit high and deep out to left. And, oh, he missed a home run by a matter of feet. It's off the wall. And he is in the second base with an RBI double. Batting it. The center fielder. Monte. To the plate now. Monte Harrison. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Fastball is outside and it's full now. Three and two. Now the payoff pitch home. Down the left field line and deep. And this will wind up a foul ball. 
Payoff pitch one more time. Down the third baseline. And this gets past him at third as it hugs the line. A fair ball. On to second, but he's in safely as a run comes across to score on the play, tying the ball game. At the plate now, Josh Rader. A ball and two strikes to the Marlins pitcher. To two ball strikes now. Runner at second here with one man out. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. At the plate, Jonathan VR. Runner in scoring position with two gone. Jonathan Never tempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. It's clear he just hasn't been able to find any rhythm out there. Pretty much unable to hit any of his spots. And now he's at three and one, and he's put him into another great hitting count. And he misses here for ball four. Already two walks surrendered in his first couple of innings of work. Here's the 2 1. I know to the fans that probably looked like something good to hit. But unless you're sitting breaking ball right there, I don't care if it's middle of the plate. That's a tough pitch to pull the trigger on. And there's ball three on a breaking ball that misses away. Got a time to fool around right now on a 3-2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. And this is going to dunk in out there, a base hit. And the runner is in from second. And the run will score all the way from first. It's 4-2. The left fielder, number 23, Curry. Standing in now, Corey Dickerson. The count now at two and two. From the stretch. Hit on the ground toward the left. Oh, he makes the stop. Got him. That was exceptional. He got the out and prevented the runner from having a chance to score. Top of the third set to get underway. And next will be a speed threat in the form of outfielder Ronald Acuna. There's ball two as the slider dips below the zone. Sitting in a good spot right here. Two ball, one strike count is yet to see a fastball. Oh, just a sec. What a play. He's out. The next to bat for Atlanta, Marcelo Zuna. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Yeah, he did a great job to go down and get that one, his last at bat. But I got to think they're going to pitch him up, maybe elevate something in the zone. Interested to see how he approaches this next AB. Three balls and a strike to the Braves' left fielder. Travis Darno waits on deck. Hit down the line at first. But a foul ball, and it's full now at three and two. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Donnie extends nicely, and this ball is driven to right field and deep. And this one scoots all the way to the wall. And he is in at second base with a one-out double. Now that the pitcher, Travis. Darnot. Stepping in now, Travis Darno. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. A bouncer up the middle, scooped up, and that's the second out. Man at second here with two away, and up next, the utility man, Johan Camargo. Camargo. Ready now with the payoff pitch. Full count still. The 3 2 one more time. Line drive to left. And that's in there. Base hit. And the runner at third will put the brakes on here as they didn't want to chance it even with two outs. The bat, number seven. At the plate, Dansby Swanson. And that's in there on the hands. Three and two now. 
Three two two out runner on first lots of possible outcomes on this pitch lifted down the line in left. Another payoff pitch high in the air out to center field Harrison moving back on it. He's there to make the play and that'll retire the side. Bottom of the third now and next to battle be the first baseman Jesus Aguilar one of the keys to securing a win they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings throw to first is in time for the first down so coming to the plate Jorge Alfaro he scored a run after stroking a double in his first at bat and he's got to build off that last A.B. He battled. Usually when you battle, you get in that swing mode. A lot of pitches, you'll swing at the rosin bag. I love the fact that he was able to work a double in last at bat. Let's see if we get more of the same right here. The 1-1 one, one home. Runner goes. He swings and misses. Throw down. He is right there for Darno to get his man. Third inning here. Already 4-2 our score. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Acuna is there for it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. All set for the start of the fourth, and that'll bring up the pitcher, Sean Newcomb. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. And a fastball, but he's losing it a bit here to three and one now. Yanked high and deep down the line in right. And it's a foul ball. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. Hey, last two pitches back to back off speed, then he's laid on the fastball. He could pretty much do anything he wants right here on the mound. Dickerson a range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first down back to the top of the order now and that'll bring up the exciting Ozzy Albies now the one and one pitch misses for the second ball swing and a drive to right there it goes right fielder looking up and that's a home run into the top tank in now Nick Markakis ripped on the ground to first and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out so next up will be Freddie Freeman over for two on the afternoon so far. Three runs, nine hits, and no errors so far for Atlanta. And that's going to be high two and two now. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can read. Looking at a fastball to end the inning. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And that'll give way to the third baseman, Brian Anderson. The 1-1 one, one home. Hit hard to third. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. Throw on to first, and one third baseman grounds out to the other, one away. Now that is. Stepping well, into the good. box, Monte Harrison. Okay. An RBI double is what he was credited with his first time around. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A.B., maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. There's ball four. The pitcher, Ryder. Got it back in time there, and it's two and one. 
it's one thing to get hit around, but it's far worse when you're getting yourself into trouble by not throwing strikes. Every pitcher's been there, but it doesn't make it any less frustrating or unacceptable. And an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. So two are gone now in the Miami fourth. And the switch hitter, Jonathan VR, will be the next to bat. The 1-1. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be late on that fastball. The one-two pitch. And here's a ball in the air now carrying a bit out toward right center. On the move is Marquecas. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Sterling Sharp, a right-handed reliever standing 6-3, gets the ball now out of the bullpen. All ready to go in the top of the fifth, and that'll bring up the always dangerous Ronald Acuna Jr., And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. He got a swing and a miss on that last pitch, but that's not the location he wants to live in against a hitter of this quality. Two balls and two strikes now. Here's a huge swing by Acuna and a drive to deep left. And he's going to make the catch on the warning track. A fine running play there for the first out. And that'll bring in Marcelo Zuna. Two hits in two trips for him thus far. And a slider just about gets away from him there as it runs in a bit too close for comfort. Even count two balls and two strikes. We're in the fifth inning of a four to three ball game here. Right side but it's going to be a foul ball. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And that'll find its way into center field for a one out hit. The batter, the catcher, Travis Darnot. Into the box, Travis Darno. Strike two swinging just out in front of the slider. A double play ball to second. Four, six. Three, but it's not in time, and the inning will continue. Two gone now in the Atlanta now half of the fifth. Third and up next, the utility Johan. man, Johan Camargo. <laughs> Popped him up. VR over to his right, and the inning is over. Paul Hamels, the 6'4 southpaw, comes in out of the bullpen to do the pitching. Number 32, Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and stepping up is the shortstop, Miguel Rojas. The 2 2. It's the top of the zone. He struck him out looking. So stepping in, Corey Dickerson, 0 for 2 here to start the afternoon. Dickerson. Now a swing and he gets him to pop it up and this will land foul. Now the three and two pitch. This one's down to third. Throw on to first and Hamels has retired the first two in the inning. Ready for another shot now. Jesus Aguilar. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Aguilar. Fastball called strike one and two. Now one and two. Still a ball and two strikes. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. Brandon Kinsler takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Number 20, Brandon. Dansby Swanson lining up to hit. He's one for two in this one. Number 
the 2 2. Hard hit ball to short. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Ender Inciarte is going to grab a bat now and hit for the pitcher, Hamels. Four three, our score here as we play inning number six. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Ramirez is underneath this one. And he's got it for out number two. And out back to the leadoff spot in the Braves lineup. Stepping in, Ozzy Albies. He's coming off a solo homer in his previous trip. And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. Bouncer to the left side. Uh, the throws a low one, and he can't make the scoop at first as it's in and out of the glove. The batter. Runner at first following the error. And coming forward, the veteran outfielder, Nick Markakis. Hit to first. Onto the bag with it is Aguilar, and that'll retire the side. Luke Jackson enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 77. So striding in, Jorge Alfaro. It was a walk in his last trip. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Now in the box, Harold Ramirez. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Ramirez. And the pitch misses low and away for ball two. Jackson has thrown a little over 50 innings. And when you look at his whip over those innings, it's not a particularly pretty number. Over 1.5. So he's often dealing with a lot of traffic on the base pads, unfortunately. Stepping in, Brian Anderson. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Now the one and one pitch. Diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. And they will still manage to get him at first. A spectacular all-around play, and the inning is over. Adam Conley will come on now, and he'll slide into the seventh spot in the lineup following the double switch. John Birdie is into the ball game as well, as he'll slide into the pitcher's spot, hitting ninth now on the double switch. He set and the 2 1 pitch. Here is a ground ball now for the shortstop to the right of second. On the first and a big out to start the seventh for one gone. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Ronald Acuna. He's working on a one for three thus far. The 1 2 is laid off for ball two. Line. That's a base hit in the left field. The left fielder, number four. Into the box now, Marcelo Zuna. And he pulled up in time, but it's a called strike two. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. So it's a runner at first with two men out. And up next, the catcher, Travis Darno. Quick check on that time run at first. The 3-1. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Harrison moving back on it. He's got it as the time run is left on base. Yeah. 
last half of the seventh here and that'll bring Monte Harrison up to the plate. Into the windup here comes the 2 2 pitch. So a full count now. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters. So you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Acuna is there for it. And that's the first out of the inning. Ready now for the Marlins. John Birdie. He's newly entered into the ball game, so this will be his first trip to the plate here in inning number seven. It swung on and hit on the ground for Freeman over there at first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Digging in the switch hitter, Jonathan Villar. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Now the three and two pitch. And that one's taken outside for a ball. He walked him. So no one, two, three inning here. They've got themselves a two out base runner. There's a good breaking ball as he gets the bottom of the zone. Hey, that's a great job by the pitcher right there. Stealing a strike with that get me over breaking ball. And now he can get a little nastier with it in the dirt. And that's high for a ball. It's two and two. Good eye to lay off the slider there, and he works it to full three and two here. Good running count right here. Three balls, two strikes, two outs, run, run first. He'll be off to the races on this pitch. Ran it in on him as this is bounced towards short. And as it turns out, the two-out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. Drew Steckenreiter has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 71. Johan Camargo will be the first one to greet him here as he'll be forced to turn around and hit from the left side now. This thing's far from over even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. Three and one. Down by a run, your guy needs to get on any way he can. His mentality has to be to shrink the strike zone to, like, the size of a soup can. No reason to swing at a pitcher's pitch. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential tying run here is aboard late in the game. Now at the plate, Dansby Swanson. He was a ground-out victim last time up. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result. That's his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll to. On to first, and that's the very last thing they needed at this point in the ball game. As there are You're quickly right, two please. away now. Pinch Tyler Flowers please. will pinch hit Number here, and he's five. the potential tying five. run. Wow. Line to the right side. And the ball is dropped. Throw over to Aguilar at first will take care of him to end the inning. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention. So the call's gone out for the right-hander Mark Melanson as he'll take over Number on the mound. 36. Mark. Bottom of inning number eight set to go, and that'll bring forth the veteran outfielder, Corey Dickerson. Oh. One one is a cutter that misses two and one. And he fouls this one off. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. Back goes Markakis. Gone! <laughs> Standing in now, Jesus Aguilar. A knuckle curve there, and he thought he had him, but it's two and two. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone 
and breaks just out. Just a great take by the batter. And therefore it is Marquecas, and that's your first out. Now batter. Now at the plate, the Jorge Alfaro. Jorge. One run in and one gone Alfaro. so far in this inning. The 2-1. Drilled right back up the middle. On to Freeman at first, and there are two away now. Digging in, Harold Ramirez. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Brian Stanek comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Set to start the ninth in this one, and standing in is the power-hitting second baseman, Ozzy Albies. Looking for base runners here as they're down two, playing on the road. Not an easy thing to do, trying to score runs or bunch hits together off of a closer. The count now at two and one. Here's the pitch. Bounce towards the mound. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. At the plate, now Nick Markakis. Right he comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's 1 and 2. So two balls and two strikes now. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Count remains two and two. One out, nobody on. Hit out towards second. On to first, and Marcakis is retired two away. Here's the first baseman, Freddie Freeman, and he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. Final strike for the Braves. As anticipated, here's a ground ball now to the right side. And he'll step on first for the out, and the ball game is over. Hey, it always feels good to win a baseball game, but when you can win one at home in front of your home crowd, all those fans cheering, this is a good win for this team. 5-3, to three, the final score in this afternoon's game. The Fish took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Josh Rader wins his fourth game out of the bullpen this year. Sean Newcomb was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. Ryan Stanek hammers down the save, his 18th. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Here now is our final line score for this afternoon. First, for the victorious Miami Marlins, five runs on five hits, one error, they left four men on base. For Atlanta, three runs, 11 hits, no errors. They left nine runners on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 58 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please 